Hello and welcome to another Reroll tutorial video. In the last three videos, we will talk about the Robot Racing Challenge, which is a competition that will be held in May 2015. Now, actually, there's another competition, another challenge that will be held at the same time as the Robot Racing Challenge, which is called the Robot Survival Challenge. Now, this is actually a game where four robots will participate at the same time so it's something like a battlefield and then you will gain points so now, now I'm going to teach you how to build a claw so that you will like it's something like a minimal requirement for you to participate in this competition because as we know there's already a cup in the middle and then you need to collect it if you collect it and return to the start zone you'll get a lot of points so now I'm going to show you how to build a claw that's a, that will be able to hold on to the cup so you just need two servos. Then now for the long U joint, and a claw, claw for the, for the rear set. Okay. Now connect the long U joints to the servos. So slide in the rotatable connect, and then into the long U joint. This repeat it for the second servo. Now slide in the interconnect on the end of the long U joint and then slide in the claw. Repeat it for the other one. Now slide in the interconnect here on the servo. Repeat it for this one. <laughs> now connect both together by using a cube joint like this. Now this is so very uh, there's not there's no way I can explain how, how easy this one is. But this is just a very simple component that you can use I mean that you can equip onto any robot that you've built so that you will be able to hold onto the cup so here's the cup and I'll show you it works something like this so I'll connect it onto a real robot right now so that you will be able to see how it works so now I've connected the claw onto a real controller so this component like I said before it can be used on any robot so let's say you have an Utan robot and you have extra servos like you bought a resource set or you bought other an extra server you can build this and then connect it to the Utan's arm then transform it into something that is definitely not orangutan or you can connect it to the car robot in the first tutorial or any robot you want so this is just like I said before a minimal requirement so that I just want to make sure that you guys have something to start with so now connect the wires the limits are something like this so make sure you go all the way in and then outwards all the way okay, so that's the limit so I'll just show you how this claw works on the cup. So the reason I use this claw for the tutorial is because it just so happens that when the claw closes completely, it fits the cup. Uh, let's say that it, it fits the cup, it fits the cup very well. I'll show you. Okay, I'll play the program. Let's see if you figure it out. It's very stable. Very stable. So this will at least give you an idea because. Because it, there's a possibility that you have this cup in your home, but if you don't, then at least if, if you build this car, you're able to visualize the size of the cup. Okay, so that's that's all for this very simple claw. Now, I have to say that this is definitely not the best way to get the cup. There are definitely other ways, more creative, more efficient, more unique, cooler ways. But I think that that's up to you guys. It's up to your imagination or creativity. And that's everything about the hardware stuff. So remember to go to our Facebook page because just now in the video, it's only a very basic walkthrough, a very vogue idea, just to give you a very vogue idea on what the competition is about. You can go to our Facebook page because we, we are going to post the full rules and regulations there. And also you can look down in the video, de the video description below where there's a download link for the PDF file for the rules so that you can have a look for the whole accurate rules and regulations and also if you have any questions at all please comment in the comment section down there either in Facebook or on YouTube also you can it's a good idea to look back on our previous tutorials because we've taught a lot of stuff like how to use the remote control how to use the real planner so that you can make sure that your bot can perform optimally and just here's just a reminder if you want to use the remote control the app you can download it from the Play Store and then once you open the app, it's something like a joystick so you can incorporate the different programs, the motion files to the button so you can control it like, like actually playing a, like a remote control car, something like that. Okay. So remember to use it 
and use the appropriate way to program a robot, either by using remote control or using the planner. And that's the end of the video. So here's the date and the venue for the event and also the prizes. So remember that you can actually participate in both the competitions that is the Robot Racing Challenge and the Robot Survival Challenge because you can, of course you can participate it even though you only have one set of Rero because come on, Rero is a reconfigurable robot. You can reconfigure it to fit in both competitions. Okay, so the best of luck to you guys and also like I said before, the robots in the tutorials are just examples. They are made, I'm pretty sure that they're not the best solution to the competition. Remember to use your imagination and your creativity to build your own robot, your own unique robot, your own unique strategy, your own unique planner program to win the competition. I hope to see you there. Good luck and thank you for watching.